Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are heading back. Our trip is over, and we are now heading back to Znojmo to the south. It's a beautiful day today. Sun is out, guns are out. Our trip is now over. Friend is leaving back to uh, Vermont tomorrow. Flying out of uh, Prague. So we're gonna fly to uh, to the south of Czech Republic today. We're gonna go back. We got some more Škodas. He's carrying some Škodas, some new Škodas. I wouldn't mind getting a new Škoda. That's a good Czech car right there. Everybody loves a good Škoda. And everybody loves a new car. We got another uh, three hours to go and we'll be home. Pretty long uh, weekend. Pretty long, but it went by very fast, very quickly. Met up with everybody. It's pretty productive. Now I'm just looking forward to being home and uh, resting for a couple of days. Gonna have to overpass this truck of truck full of Škodas. In about a minute. guys so I hope you guys had a I hope you guys and gals you villains you CEOs out there had a good weekend as well hopefully productive I had a few beers I'm not comfortable drinking some beers in front of you guys yet because I'm an animal so once I pop a little few more of these videos out for you guys and I get comfortable um, I'll start recording myself chugging a few beers like Frank the Tank Welcome to Osechek. This town is off the hook. 
I mean, it's so busy. Got so many people here. He wanted to go, but then he was like, I changed my mind. Oh, and we're out of Osechek. One of the fastest cities we ever went through. Whew. And welcome to, uh, what is this one? Said Haradi. Always got our radars everywhere, trying to make money from people that are flying through these little towns. When you don't take the highway and you go off to these side roads, um, this is what you always get. Come through a city, drive through a little city, and you pop right out again. It's pretty cool. It's just farmland, farmland, farmland forever. I love it. Totally love it. And pretty much all the uh, towns, villages, towns, cities here in the Czech Republic, they all look the same. Kick ass. Just a chill lifestyle here in the Czech Republic. And that's exactly what I want for my life. Chill. All day long. So it's crazy how many trucks and buses, these long distance buses, but these huge trucks, these semis that use these roads. It's wild. It's wild. I've never seen so many trucks pretty much in my life, like in the Czech Republic, in the back roads, it's crazy. All right, and we're out of here. Let's rock and roll. See you later, Pinov Sehradi. That's a tough one to say, Pinov. Come to Novaviesh or Ves. I think it was Ves. Not sure. I missed the sign. BMW SUV behind me that's anxious to go he looks like he's ready to fly fly right past me let's see if he's gonna start passing me let's see if he has the balls the kahunas to do it usually Czech people are such a aggressive drivers you get the really chill people where it says 90 kilometers an hour but they're doing 80 70 they're just going real slow then you got the people that are doing 90 and then you got the people that are doing 3,000 that are just flying let's see if he's gonna fly this guy that's behind me it's gonna be interesting Nova Ves i Or Rada Orada God, it's so hard to say these uh, Czech names, man, sometimes. It's crazy. It takes me a minute to process everything. Because I suck in Czech. Yeah, horrible Czech speaker here. All right, let's see. We're leaving the little town here. Let's see if he's gonna step on it. Let's see if he's gonna fly. If he wants to, he's anxious. He's on my ass like white on rice. All right, he just let go, he just let go. Let's see if he's gonna do it. Look at, he's trying to find the right time. I don't think he'll have the time to do it here. think so nope 
Better luck next time, Mr. BMW. We are going to Havlicikovi Brod. That's where we're going. And then we're gonna continue off from there to go to Yihlava. And then from there, we're gonna to go towards Noimo. Vidimte Noimo. See your letter, Lodgy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You're not allowed to pass here because we've got the solid, solid line on the left. Let's see if he's gonna do it. Let's see if he's gonna, we're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. He wants to go, we'll just let him go. And there you go, he's gonna say thank you, is he? Yes, he did. That's how you do it. When you, when you got people that are on you, you just let them go. And they usually thank you. Just move over to the side like I did, like this. You just move over, and they just. Whoosh, whoosh. Sometimes they'll even squeeze. If I do, if I would have done it right here, you would have squeezed right through. Chicks are pretty good drivers, to be honest. They're really good. So they're cool. Like I said, I love the Czech Republic. This place is awesome. People are nice. And then you get the wild ones. Like what the hell? So here we go. He wants to go. He's aching. Is our car coming? There's a car coming. Look at him. Look at him. He's ready to go. It's funny. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in a few minutes when we see something more interesting, which is probably going to be another village. Shield. He just went to meet his maker. I was quick. Feel bad for the little fella. That sucks. At least it was a quick death or a quick transition to the next dimension, to the next world. We are about, uh, about 40 kilometers from uh, Yihlava. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm getting really hungry though, super hungry. Gotta get some food. I only had a uh, coffee for breakfast. Maybe I gotta get some Parek Vrohliku, which is a a hot dog in a bun. Not like not in a bun like American hot dog, but like a, a hot dog where they take out this the, the entire middle part of like the bun and then you they stick it in there. They stuff it right down there, right into the hot dog. I mean into the bun. Pick any sauce you want. I like uh, mustard, super good. There's two different types of mustards here. There's a uh, polotuchna, and I think I'm saying that right, polotuchna and uh, kremska. Kremska is a little more hotter, uh, a little spicier. It's pretty cool, it's really good too. I like that when I eat just a potic or a hot dog with, uh, with bread, but when I eat the pot, I go really cool. I prefer the hot dog with the bun. I prefer polnotuchna, which is a little soft, mustard, super good. Now we're in Gamen. The city's called Gamed, which is stone. All right, see you later, stone, stoners. Probably a lot of stoners in that town. Potheads. <laughs> All right, so 
such a nice day today. Such a nice drive too. It's beautiful out today. I like these country roads, these back sides, back roads. I think I'm gonna avoid the highway as much as possible just so I can capture a lot of footage. Don't do it, guy. Don't do it. Oh, he had to pull out in front of me, huh? Well, we'll just pass him real quick. Man, that guy's flooring it too, Jesus. I bet you he was trying to speed up so he wouldn't slow me down, but that was nice of him. That's all right, though. I gotta get me a stronger Skoda, a faster Skoda. Maybe get an SUV too. I'd love a SUV Skoda with a gas station gas card from like Shell or something that's sponsored so I never have to buy gas ever again. So I can just keep traveling the Czech Republic. That would be epic. Super nice out here. Really nice. Ooh, a burger. God, yeah, that looks so good. God, that looks so good. I had a really, really good burger in Slovakia. That burger was off the hook. Oh my God. The bun was blue. And I don't know whatever burger I had, but it was so good. It was probably one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. And you would think, right? Slovakia, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. It was so good. I think one of the top burgers I had, I don't know, it's between the Slovakian burger that I had and the one in uh, Holland in Netherlands. I was in uh, the city called Den Haag and it was a massive burger, but it was so good too. So it was between those two. That's what comes to mind when I think of burgers. The Slovakia or the one in Holland, just amazing, amazing. It was like this really uh, old, old, historical town in Slovakia. I forget what that town was called. Um, maybe I'll go visit there one day. Uh, when I, I'll go see my friend in Slovakia in the city called Trenčín. So maybe when I go visit him, I'll go a little further and I'll go visit that town again and get that burger. Maybe it'll be still super delicious. We'll see, we'll find out when I go there. But yeah, off the hook really off the hook Whew. 34 more kilometers 34 more kilometers let's go what city is this what are we coming up to this is Radoskin Radoskin Rado or like Radovat is like to be happy to to get excited Radosti I think Radosti is uh, excitement to be happy and Radosti I think it's uh, I don't know probably a, just a city name town name but sounds like just a happy town everybody's excited in this town cool little four wheeler right here right on alright See you later, happy people. Adios. Like this street, right now we're supposed to be doing 90 and we're doing 70 because some old bloke or a new driver is going super slow but that's all right that's just how we roll in the Czech Republic it's a good thing we ain't in no rush just take it easy slow down no need to rush we're not in a rush but I am hungry though I tell you what I could eat right now maybe if we see some uh, little place on the side where they serve like these quick meals you got these little standing tables where you can get yourself a burger hot dog or something or uh, 
What's this? Uh, what's this other chick? This is uh, there's a uh, smudging acid, just like a grilled cheese. It's pretty good. And there's a, uh, another thing that they like. God, what is that check thing called? It's called um, Jesus. It's like this uh, big flat oh, bramburaki. That's actually good too. It's made out of potatoes. This little flat oiled, uh, greasy fried potatoes. It's really good too with meat or whatever. But then there's other one. Uh, these Czechs love. What the heck is that? I'm forgetting it. Oh man, I forget what it's called. It's, I think it's called chestnut or something. Something garlic. Something garlic. Just can't remember what that was called. They have it everywhere. Everywhere there's a panic broliku pretty much. The one with the hot dog with the bun. Um, they always have this too. Whatever. I'll put it in the video, whatever it's called. My brain is fried right now. It's probably because I'm hungry. I can't remember what it is. Yum, yum. And we're going to pass this guy because we do not want to drive 70 forever. All right, here we go. Where are we at now? We are in Havlichkov Brod. All right, sounds good. I think maybe I should follow this guy too. It seems like he knows where he's going. Uh, green, yeah, that, that was a little confusing, it scared me, I thought it was red. We're going to Yihlava, as you can see in the sign. Cool. 27 more kilometers to go. Super nice out today. Super, super nice out today. Whew. Ooh, yeah, these apartment buildings, man. I think the commies, uh, communists back in the day they built these. They just popped them up everywhere, like I said. Which kind of sucks. Destroys the uh, aesthetic, the beautiful landscape of Czech Republic. I do prefer the older buildings. The nice architecture, they're so nice. But I get it, when you gotta build a lot of apartment buildings, a lot of people need uh, to live somewhere. That's what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Can I go straight here? Yeah, I can go straight. Here we go. Czech Republic. Psota Znoimo. Oh, he's going to Znoimo too. Cool. He just followed that truck. He would have shown me the way. Just turn off my GPS right now and it's over with. But I don't want to be stuck behind a truck forever. Let's roll. All right. Go through this little town. Havlichkov Brod, which I have no idea what that means. Havlichkov, maybe that's a, I think that's a dude, some dude, some famous dude again. I'm not really sure. Not positive. I don't know my history. They suck. I went to Hradec Kralova this way. Not this way, but coming the other way. I took a right somewhere. I think at this light, I took a right and kept going to Hradec Kralova, I believe. Not super positive, but I think so. I'm about 99% sure. Oh no, I think I went in the wrong lane. Now somebody's going to be wanting to go left and I can't go anywhere. Please, please go straight. Please, everybody go. Just go. Thank you, God. Lord, thank you. Lord, if you listening, thank you. Yep, I'm 100% sure now that that's the way I went to 
Hradec Králové. That's where my uh, aunt lives. And my uncle. Whew. Man, what a long trip this was. It's a long weekend. Very long weekend. Alright, let's roll. Alright, so we're about 90 kilometers away from Snowimo. We're almost there. Almost there. Come on. God, I'm so hungry. I need food. Food, people. I don't want to drive like 6,000 miles an hour. Just so hungry. I'm going to eat, stuff myself, and then sleep like a baby tonight. Guys, we're almost in Znojmo. I mean, Nihlava. four meter long tunnel in Yihlava. Whew, we got 76 more kilometers to go to Znoimo. We're home. stuck behind a truck probably because there's a tractor or something for sure this is going to be a long noodle a long noodle of cars so patience everybody patience we just go real slow let's see what the damage was let's see if we're right was it a tractor trailer a little tractor farm tractor let's see oh, 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 oh can we make it yeah we can make it real quick just get past him there we go good to go all right and we're back flying again awesome he's letting me go basically sometimes when these uh semi trucks when they use their blinker and they blink to the right that means um, they're letting you go. They're like, go ahead, I can see really far because they're really high up. They're like, I can see really far. So they just let me pass, they'll let you pass, which is really cool. Good guys, like I said, it's pretty awesome. They know how to drive here in the Czech Republic. Czech drivers are the best, the best of the best. That's why they win Formula One every year. But I think uh, Czech drivers, Czech drivers are banned from the Formula One and NASCAR because they don't want uh, the Czechs to win. Uh, that's what they, that's what would happen. They would win every year. The Czech drivers because they're just the best in the world. Okay, hats down. Holy moly! That's a big mama. That ain't no John Deere. It's probably a Zetor, a Zetor, or Zetor. Not sure what kind of tractor that was. Loha Brtnica. Something long Brtnica. I don't know what Brtnica means, but Loha means long. When money long, play a strong. farm area here the whole rep the whole rep republic is a farm area farm country love it baby i love it it's 
Czech Republic should be neutral like Switzerland. Just don't do nothing. Put your borders up and just stay put, chill. And have people begging to come into the Czech Republic. Please let me in. Please let me see the country. We're like, I don't know. Who, where are you from, son? Huh? What you want to do in the Czech Republic? What do you want to see here? Do we want you? I, uh, uh, okay, we'll let you in. You can check it out for a week. Uh, we'll give you two weeks. You better get out. Keep this place private, hidden away. It's a hidden gem, the Czech Republic. Best country in the world, straight up. <sighs> One day we'll talk about the ups and downs. There's some downs as well. But you know what? It's a good thing. All the bad is good. That's how we roll. All right, so we got another 53 kilometers to go. 53. About, I don't know, 30 miles or so. And we're home. Home sweet home. I'm looking forward to taking a nice shower, nice cold shower, because it's hot outside today, real hot, and maybe watching some CEO videos, of course, what else would we watch? Watch the Czech president of the world, watch the Czech president, Yaro, the CEO. on looks like this guy in front of us is German because he's got the little D in his license plate and a little blue strip on the left I'm gonna have to pass him real quick because I don't like driving uh, behind people because he's gonna be real slow later 100% since he's not from here he's gonna be driving like a slow poke and I don't want that it's normal he's probably going to Vienna probably all right, here we go. Vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And how much more we got left? 44, 46, excuse me, 46 more kilometers to go. And we're home, baby. We're home. We're coming, Znoimo. We're coming. Hang in there. We're coming do an inspection. Make sure the city is nice and clean. Up to par. To CEO level. Znojmo. Yeah, Znojmo, the, the um, Iho Moravski Kraj, which is uh, Iho Moravia, so south of Moravia. Uh, it's the South Moravian state is kind of flat. It's not really, uh, doesn't have many hills and mountains. Well, Czech Republic doesn't really have big mountains, but it's not really uh, massive doesn't have really big hills and all that stuff it's just got like really smooth hills nice and beautiful flat for the vineyards it's real nice down here a little more warmer than up north yeah south of Moravia is real nice it's beautiful very beautiful oh we're going down there like a roller coaster Woo! Put your hands up in the air and wave around like you don't, don't care. Uh, sometimes there's always a cop down here. I think I've seen him a 
couple of times. Slow down here. We'll slow down. Oh, what are they coming up here? What are they doing here now? What are they doing here? He's backing up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. That's a new one from. No, he's going straight. I thought he was backing up. Jeez. Oh, wow, that's wild. I don't know what that was. That was some kind of a powerful tool. Farm tool. I don't know what that does. I'm not a farmer. I'm just a regular guy trying to make a living in the Czech Republic. Tommy! Hi, Tommy! My tummy hurts. We'll let them go. We'll let them go. Watch this. Watch this. Go ahead, buddy. You don't have to rush, guys. I ain't no rush. Take it easy, Grandma, Grandpa. We family here, we family. We a big family, big Czech family now. Okay, we got a green light. Stay green, stay green. Lord Jesus Christ, keep it green. Thank you, Lord. Whoop, just turned yellow. See, he was waiting for me. He was like, go ahead, y'all. I'll let you go. You ask, you get. Jeez, I wouldn't want a truck to flip over right here, a semi. Crush me. That would not be good. Because all hell would break loose. Alright, see you later. What is this city called? Jeletava. Jeletava. Ooh, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. So... Let's get out of here. Let's continue. 40 more kilometers to go, guys and gals. Yakubov again. We're back in Yakubov. See you later, Yakubov. That city on the left over there, you can see, I don't know if you can see it over there. That's um, Morovske Budjovice. Not Cheske Budjovice. Cheske Budjovice is a pretty big city. This one's the little, I guess, the sister, a small one, a little mini brother to Cheske Budjovice. If you notice that all these cars and trucks, they have their lights on during the day, so it's required in the Czech Republic by law to have your lights on while you're while operating a motor vehicle which is kind of weird but hey it's Czech Republic it's their house their roof so that's how the world works here so in Czech Republic uh, I think the Czechs followed the Austrians I think the Austrians uh, also had a requirement where you had to have your lights on all day during the day uh, but I think they got rid of that rule in Austria. I'm not really too sure, but I believe so. But here in the Czech Republic, it's still required to keep your lights on. So yeah. yeah. I can't see, is there a car coming? Is there a car coming towards us? Oh, I can see it, because he's got his lights on. Thanks, man. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see you during the day. Thanks for keeping your lights on for me. That just really makes a lot of sense. Cool. Alright. Alright, we 
got another 20 some kilometers to go like 15 miles and we're almost home Woo -wee. oh he's telling me yo 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 yarrow slow down there's something coming up a light okay let's slow down thanks for the warning dude this is what they do when something's coming up in front of them and they need to warn you so you so you're careful you don't hit them they'll put their lights on they'll put their emergency lights on and then you know something's coming up so that's a little nice gesture from a check driver like i said the check drivers are the best the best in the world top notch do, do, do. they're still not done i left oh i was gone for three days we haven't done anything for three days. All right. I know why this guy has the lights on the whole time and he's not the first dude. I mean, he's the first dude in line, but anyways. See, everybody's got their lights on. I thought that was kind of weird and strange when I first got here. I still kind of think it's kind of weird to have your lights on during the day, but hey, it is what it is. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Almost there. Avranovska uh, Plage. Avranov is a. Uh, there's a little dam there. We'll go there one day. Definitely go there one day. I'll show you guys the dam. Looks pretty cool. It's not far from Znoimo. Usually in the summer they have a lot of parties going on there. Uh, people have these little uh, small getaway cottages. It's pretty cool. They stay there for the weekend. For the week. What is this? Greshlove, Greshlove, what was that? Greshlove Mito. I have no idea what that means. Absolutely no clue. Every time there's a little a line above the letter S or a C or a R, the pronunciation changes. So, like in this one, it was uh, Greshlove, but because there's a, a line above the S, that's a Sh sound. So it's Greshlove Mito. Fun fact. Here we go. Here we go. I'll stop right here just in case someone flies up and almost tries to hit me and I'll have some room just in case I don't hit the guy in front of me. And we wait. Ten more miles, and right here, if we would have went right, right here, turn right, we would have been to Vranov, which is the um, the dam. We'll go there one day. Well, we are about eight miles from Znoimo. My battery is about to go. It's about to die on me, so we're not even going to make it. It's close, it's a close call. So we're going to cut it short here. There's nothing else I can do. Need more batteries. And uh, thanks for uh, joining me on this trip this weekend. Hope you guys liked it. More trips coming up. It'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to going to some other locations and checking these places out. But um, I'll definitely be doing some more walking around around cities and things like that. How much is gas right now? An arm and a leg. That's how much it is. Expensive. Super expensive. How much battery do we have left? It's about to end soon. All right, well, hope you guys had a good weekend. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video. At least something. You guys should come to the Czech Republic. 
guys and gals. Come check it out. Come chill. Your dollar will go a long way. Book yourself like an Airbnb or something for like two weeks. And uh, maybe three weeks. See a couple places and enjoy yourself. Enjoy, enjoy some Czech food, which we'll definitely do as well. We'll, re we'll record some Czech food. That's coming up. I should have done that while I was up north. I just didn't have time to record anything or do much just because um, I was giving all the attention to my friend. And I uh, wanted to make sure he had a good time so I wasn't just recording and recording and didn't make him feel uncomfortable. Znoimo Kasarna. Ooh, like, so it's basically Znoimo Barracks, I believe. Kasarna is Barracks, I believe. Again, I'm not positive again. All right, so, but I believe Kasarna means Barracks. I believe maybe me the military barracks used to be here. Maybe they still are, I I'm not sure. But that's how we roll. Barracks, just in case we get invaded. Beautiful nation. Alright, guys, I think this is it. I think my battery is just about to go. It's about to end soon. So, you guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Wherever that's going to be. And there it is. It's Noimo. Boom. And we're back. JC. Welcome back to Beverly Hills.